I'm Lynn Stafford and I'm from Manchester and I work for Gadham Centre which is Manchester's oldest charity. I used to be Chief Exec of Cancer Care in North Lanks and South Lakes so we dealt a lot there with children who had bereavement issues and obviously the organisation I run now runs children's bereavement services. From today meet, <laughs> meeting some more new people, renewing um, old acquaintances within Child Bereavement UK and actually hoping that to raise awareness about our services so more people can refer and we can help more children who are stuck in their bereavement. I would always encourage people to come to seminars like today because I just think it's good training, it's good development for people, it raises awareness about difficult topics, difficult subjects and I think child bereavement probably impacts on most professionals lives. <laughs> My name is Sana, I work with Lancashire Mind um, and I'm a wellbeing coach. I think so far it's just um, learning how the support that's actually out there for young people and parents as well. You can always learn more and um, we've been here not that long and I've already learned a lot really. So yeah, I would recommend it definitely. Uh, my name's John Sprackland, I'm a trainee counsellor at Salford University. Well, I've been interested in the organisation for quite a while um, from a professional point of view and also from a personal point of view because my own mum died when I was 12 years old. From that personal perspective, I think that by understanding how children cope with, with loss and grief, um, I'm getting an insight into how it's affected me. Uh, I hope I can take that insight into my work as a counsellor. Um, and I'm working on a book about the experience of men who have lost their mothers young. Without any question, I'd encourage others to come to it because uh, if it isn't something that's in your experience currently, if you're a professional who deals with children or parents or human beings, it's probably going to be something that you're going to encounter at some point. My name's Alex Whitsum and I'm from Healthy Young Minds in Bury. Well, I knew that you were an organisation that obviously supported children where they were uh, bereaved of a parent, I thought, just of a parent, um, and that you support families. Great advice, um, resources that are available, and I know more about what you do and other organisations that work with bereavement, which is amazing. I would definitely encourage them to come because I think it gives you a lot of food for thought. Um, obviously it gives good advice, it's helped me to think about how as a school link for mental health in, in schools in Bury, it's given me some, um, some more information on how best to advise teaching staff and other staff within school how to support children and where to go because there's, there's, so, there's, there's very little out there for support for bereaved children. My name is Mick, Mick Lay, and I'm a Child Death Overview Panel Chairman. Uh, well, I've known enough to come on the training courses because they're very useful, very informative um, about suicide and things like that. And the work that I do with local authorities, uh, it's important that you look at the wider range of things that are available uh, in terms of dealing with children and families, the wider impact that death has on those families and how children cope with it. And this seminar training session this morning is really useful in terms of raising awareness and I'll be taking things back to my area of work in order to try and share some of the good practice that's clear. I think it's important that you look at things from different perspectives. Um, it's very easy to just think within your own silo, your area of work, and listening to some of the wider experiences and the professional experience that's been gained is really important. Uh, my name is Helen Majersia and I'm from Castlebrook High School in Bury. We've worked with the uh, local authority and Healthy Young Minds around counselling and it was them that brought Ch um, Child Bereavement UK to our attention. Uh, I've not done any direct work with them though before. It's been absolutely fantastic to come along and see so many people and just to reaffirm some of the good practices that we are already doing but take away from things some of the things that we're, we're not doing and what we need to implement in particular uh, a bereavement policy is something that I'll be taking back and speaking with my managers about developing that in the school. I think it's been um, great just to reaffirm the knowledge that you've already got and learn from um, new organisations and learn what's out there as well. I'm Peter O'Brien and I'm uh, the chaplain at St Anne's Hospice in Manchester. I'm asked to come on board with our uh, bereavement support coordinator to come today and it, it's been really interesting and helpful so far. Just lots of information, lots of note taking, so I, I want to kind of uh, take it back and see what we can do as a team at the hospice to see where we can go with it and how we can develop it. Death and bereavement affects all of us at some stage and I think what's been useful is the information that's been shared and the experiences that we can develop together. So yeah, I would encourage anyone to come.